Aberdeen's results have been on the slide since winning their first two games of the season. What followed was one point out of a possible 15 ahead of the visit of Hearts. The best of the action at Petondry with Paul Mitchell. Hearts looking to avoid a third straight SPL loss and a fourth straight defeat in total. Moving forward on to Callum Elliott. Good save, Mark Howard. Comes wide again. And Aberdeen clear through McArdle. But this was hit with plenty of pace from Callum Elliott. Under control well. That's a good save. Hardly for Aberdeen. Elliott nips in for Hearts. A little bit messy. Chipped across. It's Suso who went up to try and get the header. Ponsolain is caught by Suso. Moves away from him. Still Suso drives it in. Saved by the goalkeeper. Elliot couldn't get there. And McArdle clears. Well, Considine dwelt on the ball and Suso almost made him pay. Elliot rather swiped at it. Aberdeen building again. Hartley, a little jab inside. Well, Chris Maguire scored that wonder goal at Easter Road on Monday night. Tries to get on target for Aberdeen. Luko again, kept possession well, actually too many Hearts players round up. Hearts moving forward, that's a good ball out wide, on to Callum Elliott, Kyle making the run in the middle. Callum Elliott delivers the cross, and Kevin Kyle delivers the goal! Wonderful diving header from the cross of Callum Elliott, and Kevin Kyle a minute into the second half, as the visitors ahead. Perfectly in, and that's a great execution from the header. Palace Willos on to Suso, up against Jack. He's been twisting and turning all afternoon. Moves away from Mackey, and Hartley still going. Suso cuts the ball back. Kevin Kyle is frustrated. Considine, I think, got the final touch. Great play from Suso. So directed times, driving in there. And the deflection took it wide. Corner in, Kyle with the header, Jack off the line. Mackey with the header away, comes out onto Stephen Elliott. Back out wide onto Scatchel. Delivered in again, Hart's header it forward. And Jack will have to try and clear, good pressure from Hearts. Kevin Kyle once more causing the problems. It's a good header and off the line. Yeah, Kevin Kyle was causing all the problems for Aberdeen there. He scored the only goal of the game, Danny. Uh, will Aberdeen be sorely disappointed about how they didn't deal with this? Yeah, I think he's, he's such a big threat, you know. Great quality early ball coming in here. You know, he gets in between the two of them. Xander goes front post and, and the young boy Jack should really take responsibility and, and getting across and not letting the, the man get a free, uh, Kyle get a free header. He could have scored again as well, that deflected off Andy Considine. This was off the line. Yeah, Jack. there he does everything well. You know, he's, he, he gets on the end of things, he hits the target. And, you know, what you've got to make sure that you do is, is, is you compete with him. You don't give him free headers. And with Kyle round about there, you've got to make sure that you're alert also to second balls because he's such an influence. And, and other ones, you know, uh, people running off him. You know, he's, he's a big, big player for them. So you're at Tynecastle this coming weekend. Do you have plans for Kyle? Um, we do, you know, the, he's, he's won any time that he comes into your final third, you know, you've got to respect him and you've got to deal with him, you know, you've got to pick him up. And as I say there, if he's going to out-jump you, then you'll accept that, but you've got to make sure that you compete, he doesn't get across you. And again, as I said there, we've got to react to, to second balls, because he will win, win mo most of his fair share. Is that a tough one for you at Tynecastle? Yeah, they're all tough games, Rob, to be perfectly honest, every single one of them, but... You know, the bigger ones um, that you go, you know, they, they, they seem to generate a, a good atmosphere and, you know, I'm, I'm certainly looking forward to the, to the challenge ahead. Let's have a look at the Clydesdale Bank Premier League, which confirms going into the old firm match, Rangers, Rangers and Celtic both on maximum 24 points. Motherwell in third are 11 points adrift on 13. Then Inverness Hearts, Dundee United on 11. St Johnston and Hibs have eight. Aberdeen, Kilmarnock on seven. Hamilton on six, and St Mirren are just eight points off third place. That sounds better, doesn't it? Let's have a look at the fixtures 
coming up this coming weekend, the Saturday lunchtime match, Aberdeen against Hibs, followed by Hamilton, St Johnston, Hearts against St Mirren, Kilmarnock, Inverness, Motherwell, Dundee United, and it's the big one at Celtic Park, Sunday